So they say don't go grocery shopping when you're starving. I put myself in that situation and I did very well. I'm very happy. I had to catch myself. It was like a panic attack, right? I knew this was going to happen because I have my Toastmasters meeting and it's three hours long and I made a great meal which I filmed but the camera died. Maybe the camera is going to die again while I talk about this but it was a great meal, uh, like a salad with bok choy, a little bit of asparagus, mushroom, shala uh, leek. I put some mozzarella cheese in it and some olives, so I had some fats in it and a lot of fiber. And I had some broccoli in it and it was filling me up. This was like at four, maybe even before. And I couldn't finish the whole thing. I had a big bowl. It's in the sink now. But I had the rest of it, like pretty much just before I left for the uh, Toastmasters meeting. Around quarter to five. I had to be there for 5.45. So it was kind of like, mm, should I bring some food? I know they have cookies, but I don't know, whatever. I didn't bring anything. And I kind of knew, okay, it's going to be several hours without eating, even with all that fiber and fat in me, still. So, I, I didn't think about food the whole time during the meeting. I was tired the whole time anyways. But I left the meeting, and I decided to take the bus to the grocery store, the one I like. <coughs> and I was hungry, and I was like, oh... I feel like having some of that baklava or whatever that tastes so good. Hazelnut dessert or whatever. So I'm having these images in my head and I'm like, oh, f food isn't going to help. Nothing's going to help. I have went past my limit of, you know, how long I can go without going insane and grabbing the first thing that comes to me. So, I don't know, I went into the... Um, store. I actually went to get a uh, fabric softener. I got fabric softener. I went through all the aisles and I had to get also a, um, let me see if I have it here. Well, of course I got some fabric softener. One of my favorites. This stuff is expensive. It smells great. Aroma. Love it. But I got some no brand uh, fabric softener sheets. I use both the liquid and the sheets. Yeah. That's not why my acne happened. No. <laughs> no. Anyways. I went for some... Uh, I found my sweet corn. Uh, it's like for tacos or dipping or whatever. You could, you could use it for whatever. They only had two jars left. I'm like, okay, something sweet. Should I have that with chips or... Uh, not tostitos. Um, taco shells, you know, that corn tortillas. I'm like, no, I don't want to overeat that. Because I could eat a whole package of that. Just like I could eat a whole package of, like, a whole bunch of white rice. No, calm down. So I started going through each aisle. Calm down. I went through the candy aisle. I'm like, oh, my favorite licorice candies that look like little cakes, layered cakes. Or even gummy bears. I held out. I went through, obviously I knew I needed sugar. I went through, uh, even looked at the uh, cake frosting, which I would have. Just guzzled that down, have a tummy ache afterwards. I said, okay, keep going. Maybe I'll get like a trail mix. But you know, the one I had the, the other week, it has like the yogurt covered peanuts and the red candy covered peanuts. I'm like, in my head, I'm justifying. It's probably better. I had one the other day. It didn't have that many calories in the bag. But I bought these. They don't have anything sweet in it. You know. But that it's not going to hit the spot. And then... So I had to basically look for look through the whole grocery store, not impulse buy. I know I need some sugar, but I need something a little more sustaining. 
And I wasn't going to have cherry tomatoes and all that stuff. I can't. It's like I'm way past the limit. But I managed to get myself a veggie pate, which I like. I'm like, okay, we're getting there. This isn't too bad. At least it's kind of healthy. I think. And I wanted figs. I got myself figs because I have dates here. I thought, oh, dates probably would cut, you know, cut, do the trick a little bit. But I'm like, I want figs. They got a nice, different taste. So, this is what I'm going to eat. And I should be okay. Because um, nothing with a whole bunch of veg. That's what I had for lunch. A whole bunch of vegetables. I even had a little rice in it, but, you know. I'm hungry and I don't feel like having no more vegetables anymore, you know what I mean? It's not going to do the trick, so this will do the trick. At least I'm glad that I made a healthy choice. It's got lots of fiber in both of these. So it may look small, but I think it will do the trick. If not, I should be able to eat some of the nuts afterwards and a lot of water and I should be okay, health-wise. So yeah. Um, this is like the third time, it's been a while since I had like a panic attack, like oh my god. But when I got out of the grocery store, I was going to like start opening this. I'm like, go home. I had to, so I got myself home and I got myself actually to film this right now. Now, it hasn't shut off yet, so the batteries are a little bit charged. So... Yeah, and this all stemming from my Toastmasters meeting where, of course, I'm anxious the whole time. Tired and also anxious. So it's like it's combining that plus being hungry, low blood sugar, food, grocery store. I did a good job. So you, I really have to catch it when I'm doing it. Being anxious and let me eat anything and just calm down. I'm not going to die. Because if I, once I start eating stuff, it's like then it's like I can I, I it's like I give myself permission to like, oh you can have this, you can have that, you can have that. No, make healthier choices. It's not the actual food that I want. It's the macronutrients, if you want. If I need sweetness and I need the fiber will expand in my stomach, you know, and I want something health healthier. But this is pretty healthy. So, with that being said, I just want to quickly shoot this, and, um, yeah, spot when you are going through turmoil, and get your coping mechanism and deal with it. Your body will thank you, you will thank yourself in the long run.